Hello there everyone, my name is Rose Monkey and welcome back to Rosecraft. As you can see, a few things have changed. The hair colour, the lack of a house, and the version of Minecraft. Yes, we are no longer in version 1.8.9, we are now in version 1.10.2. And as the sun rises and the moon sets, you can see a few things are different. Like for one, what is that? What is that nice and shiny beehive in the background? Shall we go have a look? It's a forestry beehive because I've now got forestry and a uh, backpack mod and animania as another mod. Um, that's part of why I wanted to upgrade to um, 1.10.2. You can see the animania draft horse right there. So I'm in creative mode right now. I'm going to rebuild my house. It's the same world that I was in before. Um, I could have kept it, but I decided not to. I decided to rebuild the house so that the forestry beehives could spawn in and the forestry ores. So you guys get to watch me build it. Although before I do, I'm going to show you down here. I've already sort of done... Butterflies everywhere. Already sort of done the um, basement area a little bit. But I thought I would time lapse the building of the house for you. So let's get started. <laughs> So that's been the time lapse, the house is fully built, and I'm going to give you guys a tour before I end this video. So first of all, you guys are familiar with the front door, for some reason there's a witch hanging out on my porch and amongst my flower pots. We now have a uh, mailbox, we did have a doorbell, but the doorbell kept glitching out, so I've removed that for now. We've got the apple tree into the living room, uh, the living room's had a bit of a makeover, so we now have a fish tank, we have uh, a TV over there, there was a small fire incident while I was building the house, but uh, that's now been enclosed. And I've been using the Bibliocrafter. I'm going to use the Bibliocraft display cases a little bit, but there's nothing to go in them yet. Um, we've got this clock here, the armor stands with nothing on them yet. Um, got a nice little workstation here with lots of different things, using some of the like Bibliocraft fancy workbenches. You can put some books in the little slot down there as well. Um, none of my stuff, that there's nothing in any of the chests or anything like that. Uh, everything is empty. I've got one or two little things in the shelves up there. I did give myself a sheep because I was not collecting 17 different coloured sheep again. And I've got Bridget. Bridget was the first animal and the only animal I have tamed from uh, Mo Creatures. Kitchen's more or less the same. We've got a fruit bowl now. Uh, moved around this area slightly because now we have this kennel out here. This is where the dogs are going to live. But again, uh, everything is empty out here. There's no chest or so a little cold in there. It's like a little water dish for them. I've extended the dining room area, got a nice little turkey going on there and a butterfly. There's butterflies everywhere in this place, I swear. Because uh, there used to be a little room here, which has now um, been taken away and just melded into the stable and the dining room. Everything that was there, like the deco craft bench, has been moved and this is like a little crafting station. Because I didn't have, like, um, crafting benches everywhere. I needed more crafting benches. I've done this up a little bit, so this is going to be nice and fancy. Got the little mine area out here and this is going to be a water elevator down to bedrock. Uh, which I haven't I haven't done anything to it yet. It's literally just that far at the moment. It doesn't go anywhere. 
but it will when I'm finished. This is my fancy little uh, working and crafting area. I've got it all alchemied up, but I'm gonna have like my brewing station in here, my furnaces and my ores in here. Uh, but now it just looks very fancy and sciency. I've even got a TARDIS look. Here's the top of the uh, the stable area. I've just got this telescope for now. I haven't got much else going on up here, but eventually uh, I might uh, use this for some of my aerial mounts. Done the office up. I gave myself the printing press that I didn't uh, have before. And I'm going to give myself a brewing stand uh, because I've got rid of all the Mo Creatures animals and I'm kind of thinking as a bit of a payoff for having to do all that work again, I'll give myself one or two little extras. The bedroom more or less looks the same, got a little stereo. These, these are different. Um, it used to just be sort of oak wood, but now we've got like um, the different types of wood. I quite like the birch ones, they look really fancy. I've um, got the bathroom in here. Everything pretty much the same in here, to be honest. And upstairs, we have got all the bookshelves. I finally put the bookshelves in that I was supposed to do before and never got around to doing, but they're all empty at the moment, so they don't look that impressive. I've given this a little window seat over here so you can sit by the window and enjoy the view. Got my uh, enchanting table here. So I've pretty much... I need to upgrade this into a, a fancy chest as well. But... Um, little ori here or ori ori is that what it's called an ori and i love these lamps as well these little fancy lamps i've really fancied the place up i uh, got my massive tv and my little uh minecraft wii there uh but yeah i've made the place really fancy because obviously i've had to sacrifice a lot to remake this house all of my mo creatures animals i'm gonna catch from scratch i'm gonna get sasha back the return of sasha um because I just I think it would be really good to just sort of start from the beginning again. I've given myself the Pam's Harvest Craft stuff as well. Um, but literally, what you see is what you get. All the chests are empty. There's pretty much nothing else here. It's just basics. Um, and I'm going to go through and collect all of my animals again. Get all of my... Uh, what is that? Oh, oh, there's an albino ostrich. There's a, an albino ostrich hanging around outside my, uh, outside my house. And cows, these are the an Animania cows. So yeah, uh, it's going to be an adventure. And because I'm now using a mod called Replay, it records everything that I'm doing. Every single thing that I'm doing. So I could go into this and uh, play it all back some other time. Um, I'm going to jump into floating to give you guys another aerial tour. So yeah, because uh, I'm still creative at the moment. Everything's all fancy looking. Got it all done, all properly sorted, and I'm really, really proud of it. I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. Got these fancy lanterns everywhere. The sheep have their own little uh, area there for now, and eventually I'm going to give them their own place. I haven't built the barn again. I have no crops. I have nothing. I'm literally going to start from scratch, but Replay Mod is going to record everything as I do it, and I will make highlight reels for you guys of all the interesting things that are going to be happening. So that's me all finished. I'm going to quickly edit the um, bedside cabinet upstairs, or the chest upstairs, sorry, it was a chest, wasn't it? And then I'm going to turn creative off. Ta-da! We are now in survival mode, and apparently I have three experience points. I don't know why that is. Um, so yeah, that's it. Now in survival mode, never going in creative again, and everything is recorded so you guys can find out if I cheat. Oh my god. I'm gonna die already. The zombies can break my front door. When was when is that a thing? Is it because I'm on normal difficulty? I think I'm on normal difficulty. I'm staying away from the front door. I'm also locking it to normal difficulty. That's it. That's done. It's staying on normal. It's never getting harder. It's never getting easier. I'm on normal difficulty forever, and I'm just gonna have to deal with it. All right. So that has been me upgrading my Minecraft single-player world to. Minecraft 1.10.2. It's been an adventure, there's been fire, there's been monsters, but it's been a fun one. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as I have. If you have, give that like button some love, hit the sub button if you're new, join the monkey crew, and I will be back with more Minecraft very, very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!